So let's say you went into the movie theater to watch a movie with your friends. What's the first thing you do when the movie is about to start? You turn off the volume of your smartphone, you turn off notifications, and also you turn off your phone and you put it aside so that you can peacefully watch the movie and also not disturb other people. So let's see how Bixby can help in that situation. Hi Bixby. Movie time. Okay, sound mode has been set to silent. Got it, I've turned it on. You can go to the do not disturb settings to schedule its time. So just by giving one command to Bixby, it turned off the volume, it turned on do not disturb, and also it turned off my phone. That's one of the things you can do with Bixby, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get it done among other things. Let's dive in. Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. If you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy S10, see the link in the description box down below. This is an official Samsung case and it's a fantastic case. So check the links below and now let's move on. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video we're going to be talking about Bixby for your Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus or the S10e. So a lot of people do not completely understand how Bixby is put together. Now it does have four different components. Now the first one is the Bixby Home component which is right here. Okay, this is just a bunch of cards and you can just swipe down and they're customizable. I'm gonna be talking about that in a second. Then you have Bixby Voice to which you can actually talk, give commands and get results. And then you have Bixby Routines which are a bunch of pre-scheduled routines that run uh, based on the time or location that you're at. I'm gonna show you that as well. And of course then you have the Bixby Vision that is in the actual camera on the top here. Now that's something I'm not gonna cover and I'll let you know why because it is not that interesting. So in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover Bixby Home, Bixby Voice, and Bixby Routines. But then again you have that fourth option in the camera that you can play with yourself uh, under Bixby Vision on the top, all right? So let me go and talk about the Bixby Home, which is the most simple aspect of Bixby. So if you pinch the screen real quick, and if you scroll over, you'll see that the Bixby Home is enabled. You can always disable this if you don't want it. Uh, a lot of people don't want it, so it is now gone. But if you want to use it, it's right over here. You enable this, and you go right inside it by swiping over. And with Bixby Home, you have a bunch of cards that you can customize, and all you do is tap on this, and tap on settings, not settings, I'm sorry, tap on that and set, uh, tap on cards and then you have these cards that you can enable, uh, disable, you can download new ones if you want to and you can configure them as you please. So if you want to show the clock app on Bixby Home, you just tap on it and you just enable it, okay? And in this case, it's going to show you your wake up alarms. You can also get summaries of news, it's called briefing. And if you go down, you have access to email, Facebook, Foursquare, all these things uh, you have to tap on and you have to just enable the ones that you want to see. So if you go back over here to the home, these are all the cards that I've enabled right now. And uh, basically, just to give you an example, that's the Galaxy Store card, just giving you suggestions on what apps to download. You got the Samsung Pay card, uh, you've got the Weather card, and you can move this up. And of course, if there's a card that you like a lot, you can just tap on this button here on the side, you can say pin to top, all right? Now that's going to get pinned to the top and it's going to say pinned cards and of course you can refresh every single card if you so desire uh, as you just saw. Now let's go back down a little bit more and you know just to show you what these are here is the uh, Galaxy Themes card you got the Twitter card right here here but that's it so a bunch of cards you just want to customize them by coming to the cards section and play with it and if you don't like it you just disable it just like I showed you. You can also go to the settings and there's not much going on here, okay? So this is the Bixby Home. So where is Bixby Voice? So with Bixby Voice, you can say, Hi Bixby, what's the weather like today? Today, it is mostly cloudy with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. All right, so that's uh, to get the weather. You can also ask Bixby other things. Hi Bixby, what's the weather like in New York? In New York City. New York, it is fair and 48 degrees right now. 
So Bixby can give you weather information and other information that you want. I'm gonna show you guys how to get a full list of commands. You can actually shout at Bixby. So to access Bixby voice uh, settings, what you have to do is press and hold the Bixby button right over here or simply just press it one time, all right? Now, the Bixby button itself is customizable and I have customized mine, so when I press it once, it actually takes me to Google Home, all right? Uh, which allows me to control my home, but if I double tap it, so that's the Bixby voice interface. Now, let me quickly make sure that you understand the button customization here. So quickly, if you go to the settings and if you go over to uh, advanced features, and if you go into Bixby key, from here you can customize the Bixby key. Now by default, it's gonna be here, at single press to open Bixby, what I just did by double pressing. And this is the second option, you can double press to open Bixby, and then the single press allows you to uh, open another app of your choosing from this area, okay? So just remember that this button here is customizable. So just for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna keep single press to open Bixby, and then double pressing this button actually opens up the calendar application, which again, I customize myself uh, if I tap on this one here, okay? But um, on, on top of that, so single press is gonna go to Bixby Voice, not Bixby Home, it's gonna go to Bixby Voice. And pressing and holding it is simply going to launch Bixby, just like when I say, hi Bixby. So I can say that to bring up Bixby or I can press and hold uh, to give commands to Bixby. Okay, but now I didn't single press is going to go to the Bixby voice. Now this is gonna be a little different than Bixby Home. So when you go to the settings over here, you have different options. You've got notices, tutorials, quick commands, settings, and stuff like that. If you go to the settings, you have Bixby voice settings. So over here, you have the language and voice style. So if you tap over here, you can change it to Lisa. Hi, my name is Bixby. Hi. My name is Bixby. Julia or John. Hi, my name is Bixby. And that's if you want a uh, male voice. Hi. All right, so that's how you change the Bixby voice. And then uh, you have other options here, such as the uh, voice wake up command, which is what I set. So when I do say hi Bixby, it does launch Bixby, as you just saw. You can disable that if you don't want it. You can just press and hold to access Bixby as well. And of course, you have the option to use Bixby while the phone is locked. So what can Bixby Voice do for you? Very simple, you wanna tap over here, you wanna tap on tutorials, and you get a full list of everything that Bixby is capable of. Uh, you can tap on this one, and then when you go to what Bixby can do, you can tap on see all services, all right? And that's gonna give you a full list of everything Bixby can do for all given and supported apps. So for example, with the camera, I can tap on this, and these are the things I can say to camera, okay? So these are suggested things to say, so it just gives you a uh, short list of the things that are possible, but it gives you an idea on how to get started. But this is the discovery section, that's the management section. And if you go back here, uh, if I go to Google Maps, you can say things like this. So if you say to Bixby, uh, navigate me to blah, blah, blah. It is going to launch Google Maps and give you directions. So that's very convenient. So all these uh, apps here are uh, part of Bixby Voice, controllable by Bixby Voice. Even the settings, when you tap on settings, take a look at that. You can go to, you can turn on do not disturb, you can increase the font size, uh, you can show me the user manual and stuff like that. So I can say something like that. So I can say something like that. If I press and hold the button, the Bixby button, Change the screen timeout to one minute. Done. It's set to one minute now. Okay, so the, the setting has been configured. I can tap this to see exactly what it was doing. All right, so that setting was confirmed. So that's how you uh, learn how to use Bixby. If you want to get a little bit more, uh, if you want to get a little bit more involved with using this Bixby, again, tap the button or double tap based on your customization of the button. Go here and then go to settings to make modifications. And then of course go into tutorials over here to see what you can do. And the best part to go is what Bixby can do. See all services, boom, all right? And then you have option to go to quick commands here. So quick commands, basically something as simple as I'm driving. So you can say, hi Bixby, and then you can say I'm driving. And what's, what that's gonna do is that's going to run a bunch of batched commands together based on what you saw. So let's say, let's say you, you're thinking about productivity. So tap on this one and I am driving. If you say this, 
the phone is going to turn on Bluetooth, turn off Wi-Fi, and play the commute playlist from your music player. So it's gonna do three things just by you saying, I'm driving. If you wanna use this, you tap on plus, oops, cancel. If you wanna use this, you just tap on plus, and it's going to be added to your quick commands. Now it's available to use. And you can always go inside and you can edit it. So you can change, I'm driving to something else. You know, I'm driving today. Just an example, it doesn't make any sense, but I just put that there. So now when you say I'm driving today, these three things are gonna happen. So this is a powerful little option. Let me just take that off real quick. You can always uh, delete all this stuff if you don't want it. But uh, these are recommended quick commands that you can pick from, okay? Again, daily routine, going home. Turn on Bluetooth, turn, on wi turn off Wi-Fi, text John that I'm on my way home, get directions to home address. So these are, uh, just by saying one command, it runs a batch of four commands and every single thing is fully customizable. You can even add more commands, all right? And again, you say that after you press and hold the button and talk to Bixby, all right? And you save it, it's gonna go to your My Commands. So that's basically Bixby Voice. And again, uh, one more thing, settings over here. Uh, this one here, Voice Wake Up, is something you have to enable if you want to say, be able to say, Hi Bixby. Um, or you can just press and hold the button. Just remember that. Either Hi Bixby, enable, or press and hold the button to talk to Bixby and give commands. But to come to this menu here, uh, the main Bixby menu, you just press the Bixby button once or twice based on how you customize that button. So that's number two, that's Bixby Voice, all right? Now let me go back real quick, I'm gonna talk about, uh, let's go to advanced features. You have the Bixby key, we talked about that, just to customize the key. You do have Bixby routines that you can turn on and off. So if you turn it on, and if you tap the button, it goes inside your routines. You go to recommend it, and these are just like Bixby quick commands, but they happen based on time and location. Let me show you an example. So there's so many options here, I'm just gonna go use one. So let's just tap on home. So this says here, optimize your phone for when you are at home. So if I tap this, if place, so you tap on this one, and you actually assign a place, your actual location, so the phone knows where you are at all times. So you tap here and you pick the address that you're at, in this location. Once you do that, what it's gonna do is then, if this condition is tr true, then run these actions, okay? So these four actions are going to be processed if you are at that given address. Now to use this, you do have to save the routine, and once you save the routine, it will go to the My Routines right over here, okay? And each routine can be disabled or enabled as you can see. Now let me go back, just one more example to get you uh, more uh, more uh, into this. Let's just use this, save battery at night. So tap it, again, if these conditions are met, the time is, let's say, let's pick a time. If the time is 11.35 a.m. or p.m., click done. And if the charging status of your phone is not charging or charging based on one of these options, then click next do these. Turn Bluetooth off, always display off, Wi-Fi off, mobile data off. All right, so that's saving your battery at night. You can also add more conditions by tapping that button. All right, so if you wanted to add more conditions, you just tap right there. And then do not disturb is on. You can also remove conditions if you don't want to use them. And then click done. And now that routine is saved under your My Routines and you can enable it by using it like that. So again, if I tap on this one, at that time, with that charging status, if these conditions are true, both of them, then boom, run this, all right? And then the other routines I have here, good morning, if the time is from 9 a.m. to 5.40 p.m., uh, then blue light filter should be turned off, okay? These are just uh, things I was testing. So that's how you use Bixby routines. Very important to understand is that you have to go to recommend it to set up a routine and then save it so it becomes your actual routine and then enable it to actually run that routine. Okay, so you can have all these turn on and they'll run and do things at specific times and specific locations. Quite a powerful feature if you uh, start using it uh, consistently and with uh, logic. And that's it guys, that's uh, what we talked about in this video was Bixby Home right here. Talked about Bixby Voice, Bixby Routines, and that's basically everything that you need to know about Bixby. And like I said, you can go to the camera and play with the Bixby Vision. 
Uh, honestly, I don't like to talk about that only because it really does not interest me at all and I think it's useless. But if you do have any questions, comments or concerns, just drop them down below and let me know. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.